Coming up on 6 a.m. now, it was a very dark day here in Arizona. It was one year ago today, 19 brave Granite Mountain hotshots sacrificed their lives to save the town of Yarnell. And today, our community will rally together to honor their lives lost with a moment of silence and a bell ringing that will happen exactly at 4.42 this afternoon. Well, for many, the anniversary of their deaths is still as tough as the day it happened, and a big message of the day will be healing. The town of Yarnell is united with the promise to rebuild stronger than before. We felt from the get-go that the most important and the ongoing memorial that we can offer to the 19 firefighters is to make this town absolutely the best community it can be. We do have teams of uh, ABC 15 journalists up in Yarnell and Prescott for you all day today for the memorial events. And we find ABC 15's Nick Vincent live outside the courthouse in Prescott. Nick, it has been a very long year, a uh, tough year for the families of those affected. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. And we talked with one of those families. We talked with the family members of Eric Marsh. He was the leader of the Granite Mountain Hotshots, and it's been especially tough for them because he was the leader. And his role in all of this has really faced a lot of scrutiny that they've had to endure. But when we talked with the parents, they really wanted to just remember their son. He was their only son. And they said that really, for years, this is what he had talked about doing. He wanted to be a firefighter. He was very instrumental in having the Grand Granite Mountain Hotshots become an official firefighting crew. And we talked with his father about how difficult this last year has been. I guess realizing the son you cared enough to move 2,000 miles to be close in your declining years and knowing that the son uh, won't be coming back. Just such a difficult year for these families and for the people who lived in Yarnell who lost their homes, and that's what they're going to be commemorating here. They're going to have a ceremony that will start right here at 4 o'clock, that bell ringing at 442. They're asking churches countywide to participate in this. Dan? All right, Nick, thank you for that. We'll check in with you in just a bit. Another memorial to remember the 19 Granite Mountain Hot Shots, a concert over the weekend in the Valley. It featured the debut of In Memoriam, Piece of music was written for those hot shots by Arizona composer Michael Mazatenta. All donations collected from that event will go to the families. Well, please join ABC 15 for an entire day of special coverage to mark the one year anniversary since the tragedy in Yarnell. We will have live reports for you throughout the day and evening from Yarnell and Prescott.